Hello friends, welcome to my channel Nelson's Creativity and Gardening. So we are meeting after a very long time and you know, after seeing this you must have realized that what is the subject today. The subject is our plants today, the coleus. Coleus are beautiful plants of different colors. Let's start with some of my coleus collections. I'll show you. See the color here of this plant. Beautiful foliage, green, dark maroon and reddish in color. These are idle plants. They have little yellow also if you see very carefully. These are idle plants to make your garden beautiful. Look at the cutting, the edge of the leaf. That is beautiful. Let's move on to my next coleus. See the color. Oh. Jet red. And see the cutting again here. So cut, uh, this coleus is another beautiful coleus of my collection. I'll show you the third one. This is a different one. It is with a yellow tint and red spots on it, dark maroon spots on it. These are very good plants to add color to your garden. Uh, maximum of our plants are green. But these, if you see, look at the color here, the nice pink color on maroon leaves and the cutting that you see here on the leaves that is beautiful let's move on to my next one this is again uh, this is a green one with pink green with a light pink one i had shown you this one this was green with dark maroon and round cutting of the leaves this is not round this is green with light pink color on the leaves now let us move on to my next uh, coleus look at the design look at the design of these leaves the designs of these leaves are again beautiful this is uh, you see the cutting see the cutting the, the way it is done the way it is done this is nice green border with maroon thing in the middle so this is another beautiful coleus that I have so here in my video I've shown you one two three four five six six types of coleuses and uh, these are these plants are basically native of tropical africa asia and uh, some regions of australia now let, we will talk about the soil if you look here i'll try to show you the soil the soil is not very moist it is usually kept dry so that uh, there's good drainage there is good drainage in the plant and then the soil that we have, I have what I have prepared here, how I have prepared here is uh, cocoa peat, vermicompost and then I have the sand and the garden soil. It is a composition of these four things, all 25-25% that makes it a perfect soil for my coleus. You see here, I will show you again, it is not very wet, it is not soggy. So that's what and that's how we do. Now the next thing that I'll be talking about these plants is propagation. These plants can be propagated in two forms. One is seed. I'll show you. Try to focus here. This is a cord coming here if you see. Do you see this cord coming here? This tall cord. That gives flowers and seeds and it's very difficult to collect those. I've not done seed propagation, propagation as of now. But yes, you can always do cutting. You can always cut some coleus from us the cutting should be minimum two to three inches you can do that cutting and then after doing that cutting you can plant it in another soil or you can plant it in or in the same pot to make it more bushier then let's talk about the water the water for this plant is very important factor this plant doesn't need a lot of water if you put a lot of water in your pots, they'll, the soil will become soggy and once it becomes soggy, eventually after some time it will result into root rotting. So that is what we have spoken about the water. Now we will talk about the sunlight. These plants, you see the color and foliage, if you don't keep them in sunlight, this is what you get, this kind of leaf. But once you keep them in proper sunlight, I don't mean bright sunlight, I don't mean uh, harsh sunlight, what I mean to say is 3 to 4 hours of morning 
sunlight that will make that will bring the foliage that will bring the color that will bring the coloration of this plant if you don't do that either your leaves will fall or they will start turning uh, lighter in shade they you you'll not have that foliage the bright foliage that is required so sunlight is important these plants can be kept indoor as well as outdoor so that is one good feature that you can keep these plants uh, indoor and outdoor however one more good thing with these plants is as i said you do cutting cutting from here you can be done and you can put it into the soil the other way of uh, getting the roots faster is you can even propagate them in water you do this cutting and put them in water once you put them in water the so you'll see small hairy roots coming and then you can always shift your plant to the soil now the let's talk about the temperature the temperature that these plants need is uh, normal temperature not very high these plants cannot survive in dark or uh, in very cold weather in extreme cold these uh, and also in extreme hot so what is important is uh these plants can be kept indoor they can be kept outdoor they can be kept uh at any places but the temperature they need is not extremes not very hot not very cold so here i was showing you some collection of my coleus and we have discussed about the soil they need the propagation how it's done the water they need the sunlight that is required and the temperature they need one more very important how to make your plants bushier now you see there's a difference this is just one 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 thing coming up they are all one one because they are small i have not done pinching as of yet but here since it had a flowering cord here this thing so it's gradually the axillary bud buds have grown and ideally what is suggested and done in these plants i'll show you we do the pinching here i have pinched the flower the flower or the cord that was coming that would make my plant weaker because uh, a lot of energy is taken in these flowers and the seeds that are required what is suggested to make your plants bushier since i have just had these very small they are not very big so after few days what is suggested ideally is to pinch out the first two top from here once you do this pinching your plant starts getting bushier and you get a more bushier colorful vibrant uh, look for your garden so dear friends irrespective of the hot weather this is uh, a beautiful plant coleus that you can propagate grow and make your garden much 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 beautiful so friends now i end this video stay green keep uh, gardening and all the best